Hi, I'm a member of the Free Flyer Technical Support Team, and I'm here today to talk with you about one of our sample demo mission plans, the RF Link. Uh, the RF Link mission plan demonstrates how to visually model an antenna's gain using an imported antenna gain pattern file, um, and also plot the downlink power, downlink carrier to noise, and link margin between the transmitter and receiver over time using our RF Link object. The RF Link object also has the ability to determine the spacecraft's gain from an antenna gain pattern or by estimating um, using the effective isotropic radi radiated power. You're also able to visualize antenna models represented by antenna patterns that are supported in the Phi Theta or Theta Phi format. Now let's open up the RF Link mission plan. You can find it located under the Demonstration Mission Plan section of your homepage. Once the mission plan starts, the first thing that we see is a rotated graphic overlay that represents an antenna gain pattern read in from a Theta Phi file. The graphic overlay uses different colors to represent the gain available based on the file, where areas with a high gain use a reddish-orange color and areas with a very low gain use the color blue. Once we've loaded the antenna gain pattern, the mission plan will begin to plot the downlink power, the downlink carrier to noise ratio, and the link margin between the transmitter and receiver when in contact with the ground station. We can see from the initial ground station that the further we get, the power uh, begins to reduce. And then as we come into contact with the second ground station and get closer, the power begins to increase again. Now that we've completed the mission plan, let's take a look at the code. We can do this by clicking on the control tab at the top. This will bring up our mission sequence window and the object browser. If you look in the object browser, we can see that we have the RF link, which is our main object of concern in this mission plan. When you open up the GUI, we can see that you have the ability to set the properties for the frequency, bandwidth, atmospheric loss, polarization loss, modulation type, bit rate, and link power margin. You also have the ability to configure the transmitter diameter uh, efficiency, power, noise temperature, line loss, pointing loss, extrapolated gain, and antenna pattern type, as well as the same properties for our receiver. In this case for our receiver, we're using an antenna gain file to define the gain. Um, gain. Now that we've reviewed that, let's take a look at our, our code. We can do this in its entirety by reviewing the view script overview, which is available in the mission sequence dropdown um, arrow. If you review this, you'll see that it looks just like any of our other sample mission plans. It starts off with a mission plan description and console setup. It then goes on to create some variables and objects, and in certain cases, defines them as global constants, which means that they're available um, in both the main mission plan and any defined procedures. We then can see that we create some other objects, and we begin to define procedures and configure objects. In this, we can see there's a multitude of procedures for configuring spacecraft, um, configuring your source, configuring the plot windows that will be used, as well as the plot scatter series that will be used within those. And then, of course, the common vehicle view, our orbit view, our vehicle view of wallops, and then, of course, the initial position for both the target and source, and the positioning of spacecraft. Once we defined all of our all of our procedures, we can now see that we're going to create a visibility segment where our target is the RF source spacecraft traveling, traveling through space, and the observer is our RF target, which is a spacecraft placed as a ground station or a spacecraft that models a TETRA satellite. Once we've created the visibility segment, the next thing we need to do is load and view the antenna gain. Again, this is done by using a, a graphics overlay where we reference our RF link um, or in this case, the RF target antenna. After we set our reference object, you will then need to load the antenna gain file, and then you'll need to build the antenna gain graphics overlay using this method right here. We can then see that in this next section, we're going to have the antenna gain in an animation loop, which is that first window that we saw, 360 view of our antenna gain pattern. After completing the review of our antenna gain pattern, the mission plan will then close that window 
and we'll open up some plot and view windows. We can see here that these are being defined with our the configure plot series procedure and then our configure plot window procedure. We also can see that we've added some window overlays to the view windows uh, for, for reporting information. And then we use our output layout manager to set the window sizes of our plot windows and view windows and then set the window positions. Next we have a block that sets up our simulation mode. Currently it's set for a spacecraft to ground station simulation. We can see that we are in our simulation setup we configure the source and the target spacecraft and then we build some RF link vectors, vectors, velocity vectors, and ang angular momentum vectors. Next we will then initialize the trajectory from an ephemeris and then we configure our simulation views. And this is going to be dependent on if this is a spacecraft to ground station or a spacecraft to spacecraft uh, simulation. After we've configured the views and we've set some aliases, the next thing is to configure the plots that will be shown based on the simulation. In this case we can see that we are setting up a power plot, a signal to noise, and then our RF link margin plot, plot as well as our view windows. Then, finally, we get to our propagation loop. And this is what forms the actual propagation and analysis um, for reporting out and plotting to our plot windows. We can see that this starts by stepping our RF source spacecraft, updating all of the required vectors, and then depending on the SEM mode, it will, will set the position spacecraft and then calculate the downlink. You'll notice that we are we have the ability to calculate the compute received power, the compute transmitted transmitter power, the free space loss, the EIRP, the signal to noise ratio, the get transmitter noise, the effective transmitter gain, and the effective receiver gain, all using our RF link object. Once you've collected these properties and values, we can then have them reported in the slower section directly to our plot series and then have it updated with our update command. We can then see that after collecting those values from our built-in methods with the RF link object, we then load them into our plot series data to be reported out and shown to the user. And then we can see that that completes the entirety of the code for running our RF link, RF link sample mission plan. If you have any additional questions about this SMP or any of our sample mission plans, please feel free to reach out to our tech support team at techsupport at ai-solutions.com or by phone at 301-306-1756, extension 2. We hope that this has been helpful for you and that you continue to check out some of the rest of our videos.